Good morning everybody. This is a physics new from Ealing. Science. This is what we're going to talk about today. So, what's happened new in scientist world? Three words. Universe, avalanche and bakla. Three totally different words which include each one the discovery. Let us listen to Jeremiah who's going to explain how millions of bacteria can be used to study so I reintroduce you a word first, the creation of an observatory for bacteria. The idea came from the US based artist Jonathan Cates, who obtained funding from the San Francisco Arts Commission. It took him around a year to construct the observatory in the commission's gallery. What does it work? This observatory consists of pictures of rows of petri dishes filled with cyanobacteria, the type of bacteria who created the life on Earth. The dishes are laid on top of a flat screen monitor that glows with pictures of the cosmos as provided by the Hubble Space Telescope. What is the purpose of this observatory? With this project, the scientists of Macrobial Academy of Science have observed the reactions of this particular bacteria. Thank you, Jeremiah. And now, avalanche and drum. Thanks to these experiments, ice avalanches could be predicted and life saved. Reports from lab Laboratory of Oxford on Fun. Hello, Quentin. Thank you for your intervention. Excuse me. Charles Barkla, a Nobel Prize for Physics, have seen his name given to an unusually things. Melanie, can you explain us this strange idea? Good morning. Um, it's right. Often, after all their hard work, Nobel lovers may like to think that their name will be commemorated by a new lab laboratory, uh, an equation, or possibly even a space probe. But Charles Barkla, uh, who won in uh, 1917 Nobel Prize uh, for Physics for his work in uh, X-ray spectroscopy, can now add something unusual to the crater on the moon and the uh, lecture theater at the University of Liverpool that are already named after him a greeter. And today, Halton Consign, located in northwest England, where I am, announced a competition to, uh, to name uh, its brand new fleet of five greeters that will be used to remove snow and ice from streets in the borough. And you know what? Uh, Liam Gaffney, a physics doctorate student in nuclear physics at Liverpool, submitted Bartha. <laughs> And uh, he said, I think Barclay will be amused by this strange choice of testament of his work, but proves that his success is noted in his hometown. Thank you for your intention and have a good day on CBS.